How you doing guys? Declination Dan here, uh, just here with my trusty Atlas EQG mount that I've been using for the past couple years. Um, got a decent night out, as you guys know if you've seen, uh, seen the video that I had a couple weeks ago, we had a tent going on out here, we had a little bit of a party, uh, so couldn't do much viewing. So tonight, uh, it seems like it's going to be good, there's some uh, storms out to the west, so uh, hopefully we'll get some stuff going. Um, I'm going to test out a couple new pieces of equipment, I bought an off-axis guider. Uh, for my uh, Canon 6D um, and this is a great piece of equipment. It's uh, made by telescopic uh, equipment and uh, they're based out of Germany and what it is is instead of having a T-mount, the T-mount bayonet which what, goes, which what goes on in front of the camera it's built into the off-axis guider so you don't need a T-mount so that's a wonderful thing. Um, the other thing that I'm going to be testing out is the rotator and you'll see that in a, in a coming video. I installed that uh, two days ago. Um, so the first thing you want to do when you have your telescope together is make sure that it's level. The mount, not the telescope. The mount is level. Most uh, mounts usually have a bubble level or some way to find out if the mount is level or not. The, uh, the Atlas EQG um, has a little bubble level right under here and I'll, and I'll show you a picture of that. Um, so that's a, a great little piece of equipment to have uh, to make sure that uh, your telescope and your mount is level to the ground. Um, we're going to go get the telescope, we're going to put that on here, and then we're going to balance and get ready. Alright guys, so here we go. We got the Atlas EQ head mounted on the, on the tripod uh, legs, and we're going to start mounting the, the telescope and the counterweights first. Uh, we're going to grab the counterweights first, we're going to make sure we got some weight on the bottom so the telescope head doesn't accidentally swivel if uh, you're a little loose. Just make sure that you're your clutches are nice and tight um, and, and you won't have any problems. Um, I, I love this, I'm sorry, I just got the uh, retractable counterweight shaft for this is, is, is really one of the best things about the EQG. Obviously with the exception that it's a workhorse and it's a wonderful thing. So we're going to put the counterweights on and I know pretty much where they should be as far as my, uh, my gear is concerned. Um, and you guys will get to know where you're uh, pretty much every night if you're using the same imaging or viewing gear you'll know where to put them along the shaft so I'm gonna plop these guys on again put your counterweights on first please so nothing sways or moves a little bit as you're mounting that nice expensive telescope on your on your head so it doesn't smash or anything that way all right and then we're going to grab the telescope we're going to put the telescope up there very nice There you go, make sure you're all nice and tight. Make sure you're in the channel correctly. Okay. Extend the view cap. Uh, let's take this off. If we're going to be imaging tonight. We should really probably let this cool down a little bit. So you can take your cap off. And extend the dew shield. As you can go, if you have an extendable dew shield, if you don't have an extendable dew shield, put anything on the top that you're ready to do. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to get all the gear and everything. You really should balance this with every single thing you're going to be using uh, as far as imaging is concerned. If you're not imaging, that's fine. If you're balancing just for, uh, just for visual, that's great. Just make sure that you have everything on there before you start counterbalancing everything. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to get all the gear that I normally put on here. I got, I got a nice little uh, little thing that I picked off of somebody from YouTube. I'll throw a shout out to that guy. He, he gave me some really good ideas. And uh, make sure you got your cameras and everything else on the back that you want to do. Make sure that your lens shield is on there. Make sure that's extended as well because that will throw off your weight. Um, so we're going to go get the rest of the stuff from inside and we're going to put uh, all the uh, accessories on there and then we're going to get ready to go. Okay, so I have most of my gear set up here. Uh, I have my electronical gear up here. I've got my dew heater, my focus control, my power, 
uh, my camera, my off-axis guider. I had to rig the off-axis guider, just so you guys know. The OAG, the TSOAG 11. Um, if you do purchase this piece of equipment, hopefully it works good, and I could, I could definitely put a good shout out to the guys over at Telesco Telescopic. Uh, but it's very important to balance this thing. If you don't balance this correctly, um, you're going to put very a lot of undue stress on the gears here, here, and here. Big problem. So what you want to do when you when you balance your scope is this: hold your scope, loosen the clutch. Bring it down, okay? Make sure you have all your accessories on here that you want. Now, if it doesn't move this way, that's okay. That's what you want. So you have weight on this side. If, the, if it was more weight on this side, the telescope side, push weights down the shaft a little bit. If it's too much uh, on, on the weight side, move the weights up a little bit to get your center of gravity. That's one way. The other way is this way. So the telescope is weighted from the camera to the objective, okay? So what you're gonna do here is you're gonna tighten up one clutch, and then you're gonna loosen this clutch. Hold your telescope. Do not do this without holding your telescope. You will smash it if you're underweight. So this is a little bit back heavy, okay? So we need more weight to the front, okay? So that's not good, okay? So what you're going to do is, if you have one of these, it's great, because I can literally just push this to the back a little bit. It's not going to be that far off, but to push that to the back, then we'll let it go again. Now it's back heavy. Now it's back heavy before. What was it doing? Wrong way. Okay, push it forward a little bit. Tighten it down. Still back heavy. Okay, I can push this to the front a little bit by using this guy. Push this to the front a little bit. Turn that up. And it's still back heavy. So if you guys don't have this, and that's fine, what we're going to do it's back heavy. So I'm going to move the whole rig up a little bit. I'm going to unloosen the rings a little bit. Don't loosen them up all the way. Or else your telescope will slide out or fall down. We don't want that. And we're just going to kind of shimmy it up a little bit. Like that. Tighten it back up. Bring it back down. Loosen this clutch. And now we're a little front heavy. Okay, so that's good. So now we're just going to move this guy back a little bit. Still a little bit. There we go. There we go. Now you're weighted. You're weighted this way, you're weighted this way, and now you're good. Uh, please, I can't stress this enough. Uh, make sure that you have both axes weighted correctly. You will burn out your mouth. Um, will not be a good thing. You'll start your, your mouth will start sounding like a Yeti. And uh, you don't want that. Um, very expensive to fix. Now you're waiting and good to go. I'm just gonna set up some other things. I already set up my 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 camera already. And I think we're good to go there. Okay. Move that guy in. Beautiful. Um, some of my wiring actually worked out for the better because they, they both work for two different setups. So that, that worked out awesome. Um, I have the new rotator on this side, um, which I set up. That'll be in a video coming soon. Um, and uh, I have everything else all ready to go. So what I, all I need now is to wait for darkness. Um, so then we're gonna do some, we're gonna do some auto guiding and we're gonna do some polar aligning. Um, uh, for those of you who want a more in-depth, uh, it's actually a basic video of how to use a pole master, which is one thing that I use. Um, it goes over here, it's a camera, it does some polar aligning for you. Um, it's a really great product, 300 bucks, and it's probably the best 300 bucks I ever spent. You'll get polar alignment in a couple minutes, no problem. Watch my video, uh, basic uh, pole master setup, and you'll be good to go. Um, 
I've been told I said you guys a lot. Uh, I apologize to all the all the ladies out there that are watching me. Um, I, you, you know, I, you know, if you're from New York or Long Island, you, you, we say use guys a lot. So, so um, I apologize about that. I will try to refrain from doing that moving forward. So, thank you all for being viewers. Uh, we're gonna do a little bit more of a video later once we get all set up and ready to go. Gonna hit dark, dark in a little bit, about an hour. Uh, wife's gonna come home. Gotta make some dinner. Yeah, gotta keep the wife happy. And uh, that's it. I will talk to you guys later. Um, see you when, we, when it gets dark. Bye.